or still YouTube, but it's your boy Leo coming to you guys with yet another video. So today I'm going to be talking about a certain topic coming out of Extreme Rules this past weekend, and that is none other than Liv Morgan. I know I, probably some of you probably might be a little surprised after Liv Morgan and not Bray Wyatt. I'm going to make a separate video about Bray Wyatt, so be on the lookout for that. But I think the biggest takeaway from Liv Morgan coming out of Extreme Rules, besides her losing the title, is what do you do with her next? Like, where does she go from here? Do she does she stay in the you know the Raw or SmackDown Women's title page or go down the card to the you know the tag team division, or does she just have feuds here and there and stuff like that? Sometimes she wants to force you in the title. So I'm gonna be talking about different scenarios on where you could take her career and because I think a character change is imminent at this point. I think you definitely want to turn the heel. I think they've teased it from, you know, her laughing at when she was being choked out by Ronda Rousey to her smiling during, after um, Ronda left and made her way up the ramp as the champ. And not only that, but in that backstage exclusive, she was showing more of a sinister, crazy look on her face. So I think... At some point within the years, we're going to get a character change to her. I think she's definitely turning heel. I think we're probably all going to finally get that Harley Quinn type of character that we've all been wanting for so long. I mean, I think as a singles competitor, she should be like that Harley Quinn character. I think this will be something fresh for the women's division and fresh for Liv as well. Because I think if you turn our heel independently with these ways I... We'll talk about, I think this would definitely get her career back on straight and rejuvenate her career because I think she needs to freshen something up. Something needs to be fresh enough to keep, you know, her going. I, the reason why I I usually don't make comparisons, but you might understand to an extent, her career is somewhat similar to Briar before you returned. It, it was up and down, people. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. But... It's been up and down, right? It's been up and down. And it's, it's like she was right there, similar to Bray Wyatt. She's right there about to make the break the glass ceiling, but got brought right back down. She figured out some way to get back over, to get brought back down again. Similar to how Bray Wyatt was, you know, from winning the WWE Championship to losing it to Randy at NXT U, to winning the Universal Championship, going on the dominant reign, that to just to lose it to Goldberg and then lose winning it back just to lose it to Roman. So it's kind of been somewhat similar to that. So I'm gonna talk about different scenarios to where I think it would work. So the first one I just talked about or touched on just a little bit briefly, and that's basically her just be this Harley Quinn type of character where she's crazy, she's dark, she doesn't care, she's unhinged, she can't be controlled, she just does what she wants, and nobody can seem to stop her at it. She'll just go on a rant or rampage, no pun intended, um, but I think that'll be interesting to see, to see how it would look like with her doing something like that, because I don't think we have a woman to do that. As a singles competitor, I mean, yeah, we have damage control, but, I mean, I don't see that working. And, speaking of damage control, that it was my next um, scenario. Have her be part of damage control. Maybe some way, somehow, like, damage control can get through with her, even though she's crazy. And just have her be, like, this bodyguard to f for damage control to keep them uh, winning and help uh, Bailey ultimately win the title or something like that. And then maybe... Similar to how I did in the, the uh, Dana Brooke fantasy booking video, they turn on her, maybe she turns face at some point again. But I think, here's the thing. I think when you build her up as this demonic, well, I wouldn't say full of demonic, but like Harley Quinn type of character and have her be a little sinister and dark, I think she should be one of, like how Bray Wyatt is. Even though he that might be a heel, but the fans still cheer them. I think that it should be like that heel that you just love to cheer. I think that's what she should be. And I think it can work because I think the fans, yeah, they love Liv. But I think at the same time, they want to see something different. They don't want to see the same Liv. They want 
They want to see a different side of them that we have not seen yet. And as with me recording this video, she has been faced for the majority for all of her singles run. She only has been healed technically is when she was part of the Riot Squad. And that was it. Everything else after she broke away from the Riot Squad because everybody wanted her to be the breakout of that group. Now, it, it which is true, and I see why. And I've been a fan of her ever since, for so long, even back in her NXT days. But, like, if you make a heel version of Liv as a singles player, I think that would be interesting because we haven't got seen that. Yeah, we've seen it with Raj, like I said earlier. But as a singles competitor, that's what we're focused on. That's what we want to see. We want to see what, what she can do on her own. But there's also other ways you can you can spin it. Because I think at WrestleMania, I think the title pictures for the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships are going to be filled. So I don't know if there's a place for it right now. So these is why the other two can come into play. So... You could have, uh, because I think, like, let me go back, let me go back for just a few seconds. So, at WrestleMania, I think we're going to get Charlotte and Bianca for the Raw Women's title, and then uh, Ronda versus Becky for the SmackDown Women's Championship, which I feel, you feel like more likely going to happen. So, it, it would it would make sense to have Liv be any of those type pictures. But here's where the other two come into play now. You could have her join Judgment Day. But at the same time, it's like, why would she join Judgment Day, to be honest? Because I feel like they're already good enough where they are. I don't think they need any more members because I think you're overdoing it at that point. But the thing is, here's the reason why I put Judgment Day on this list. If you guys don't remember, after SummerSlam, I think it's the night after, if I'm not mistaken. Comment down below, I might be wrong. But the night after SummerSlam, or like that week of, people were booing live after that controversial win that she had over uh, Ronda at SummerSlam because she clearly tapped but the ref didn't see it and to the fans it was like okay you talked off a big game but you didn't deliver on anything that's why we are booing you because you're to the fans they saw her as hypocrite pretty much so the I think and then people were like very confused. I think Kayla Braxton was confused. They were, she was coming to um, the Lips defense. But surprisingly, Rhea Ripley came to the for defense. They was like, why are you guys booing Liv? She did what she could. And she basically said how the fans are fickle. Which, I mean, to an extent they are. But, I mean, it's it, it, it things happen, right? But what I, what the thing that stuck out, right, is that Rhea tweeted on Twitter. She said, um, Basically, how the fans are fickle, and if you if there's a still an open spot for you and Judgment Day, if you really want to be in it, so I think if you wanted to bring her in, I don't know if you would bring her as a singles competitor. I mean, what she could do since Real is kind of not competing right now, but they're going that direction where she might compete. You could have, you know, on um, that tag team, you could have a tag team between a dark Rhea Ripley and a dark Liv Morgan, and that could be a dominant. You know, team in the tag team women's division, and you have them win the, the titles um, from whoever, uh, from maybe Damage Control, I guess, if you want them to. Because I mean, like the way I'm booking this, I think she could be like that. They can, she could be the heel that you cheer, honestly. And I think that's probably the best spot for her. But the reason why I don't have Judgment Day because I think they're good where they're at. I don't think they need to add any more members at all. I think they are good. But here's my last um, scenario. And this one I think has the most logical sense, in my opinion, to happen because it has a lot of sense and backstory to it. So, this involves the returning Bray Wyatt. So... I, I think there are parallels between the two. They can both be like a um, duo similar to how like Alexa and the Bray Wyatt was when he was the Fiend. You could have um, them be this duo to where they're, they're heels, but you love to cheer them. Because I think Bray Wyatt, he's a heel that you love to cheer. Even when he's with the Fiend, 
People love the Cheetah Fiend. His merch sells. Everything about his presentation was good. And similar to how Liv, they both had up and downs in their careers. It seemed like they were about to break the glass ceiling, only to be brought back down. And I think, I mean, yeah, you could have Alexa Bliss be in it at the same time. You could have, if you want to bring Alexa Bliss, that's fine. What you could do is do what they were doing up until the lead up to Money in the Bank. You had um, Liv and Alexa teaming, and people were starting to be get behind that. People were loving that team. But unfortunately, they, they it didn't last too long because Liv went on to win the Money in the Bank and win this title, which were which is why she's been on SmackDown ever since. So, what you could do if you want to revisit that, you could have, you know, Bray Wyatt come back and get back in the mind of Alexa making her dark again. But at the same time, you could also have Liv be dark as well. And you could have these two dark, you know, um, women be the, like, the dominant force of the women's division. And they're heels, but they're faces at the same time, if that makes sense. But I know they kind of been they're teasing it. You could see it. You see it in in her, in the way she was looking. You seen it the way she lost the match. And I was surprised she didn't tap because I was surprised. I, me honestly, I thought she was gonna tap. I did not see her just pass it out honestly. And for a lot of Liv Morgan fans, I'm with you in the same boat with you guys because I'm a Liv Morgan fan as well. So, and not only that, one thing I forgot to mention. On her Twitter, she basically blacked out her profile pic. So that, that's that got to be leading to something. Maybe she's going down this dark path. I definitely think they have to do this. And there are some other scenarios that you can go with it. I mean, if with the Wyatt thing, if you don't want to have them be like a trio, you could have to be, have them bring back the Wyatt six and be like somewhat of the Wyatt family because I don't think, I think everything that happened at Extreme Rules with the different characters, like the, the pig, the buzzard, you know, Sister Abigail, I think those were just nods to his former incarnations or his former characters. Maybe that's a nod to those characters. I mean, maybe, maybe they're, if that they want to bring it back, you could, but maybe not with the costumes, maybe. Because if I'm looking at the White Six, I think the White Six should be Bray, Liv, I think Joe Gacy, Bo Dallas, Eric, Rowan, and maybe Dexter. I think that would be interesting. I think that would be a interesting, but I think Liv has to be, because I think when you had the Fiend go after whoever he wanted to go after to get under the mind for a woman, I think Liv was definitely on the top of the list, and I think Vince noticed that while he was running things and I think he that's the reason why he wanted Alexa because um he wanted to you know I guess swear the fans I guess or throw a wrench in that to make sure that didn't happen so maybe with Triple H being in charge of creative now maybe he will finally uh do what you know Vince didn't and that's give Liv that character that's uh, and I think through this like I said earlier if you have her paired with the Fiend, that would definitely be interesting because you rejuvenate her career. You're getting her career back on track, and the fans who probably faded away from Liv will come back because they now see something different with it than what they were seeing. And a lot of people will agree. I am all for it. I'm all for a Harley Quinn, dark, crazy, unhinged version of Liv Morgan. Honestly, you could sign me up any day of the week Take my money. You can do whatever you want. But I think you have to turn a heel. Because I think as a face, it's gotten to the point where it's stale. So you have to refresh. You gotta do something refreshing here. So, but yeah, that's the end of my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the post notification bell so every time I post a new video. Also, comment down below, how do you feel about everything I've said in this video? Do you agree with what I said? Do you think Liv Morgan should join any of these? Do you see her possibly joining Bray Wyatt? Do you think she'll be on her own? Do you think she should be this Harley Quinn type of character where she's in a tag team or on her own? Or do you think she just remain face? Where do you see 
her career going from here. Leave it all down in the comments down below. Let's get mm, five likes on this video. Five likes on this video, and I'll do more videos just like this one. Um, but yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video.